What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. In today's episode, we are going to be patrolling in this CVPI with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. I hope you enjoy today's episode, and if it's your first time stopping by, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. And let's begin this patrol right now. So we just had that ruffian. It's 051. Ooh, buddy. Going uh, 72, I believe it was. Let's go ahead and get him stopped. I think we've got enough room now. Don't lock him up. Alrighty. We're gonna get him over to the right hand side. Come on, quick, quick, quick. This is uh this is Interstate 1, so they move pretty quick here. Uh, but that'll work for us right there. Excellent. All right, uh, dispatch, show us on a 1011 on Interstate 1. We are going to be, uh, I don't know, just north of the Vinewood exit, I do believe, is right there in front of us. Uh, can you go ahead and run us a plate? It's going to be on a red and color ruffian, 07 Whiskey Tom Adam, 051. 07 William Tom Adam, Expired registration, Felix Rossito. Proceed Alrighty. with caution. And there we go with that stuff again. There we go. That's better. I figured out that it's the passive radar that makes that noise. So, get <laughs> All right, sir. Uh, can I get your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration for the vehicle? Thank you, Mr. Rakut. And uh, just let me introduce myself. It's Officer Trooper Miller, sorry, with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop today is I got you going uh, over 70 miles per hour, so I just want to make sure everything's good, and uh, I should, you know, if everything checks out, I'll probably just give you a warning. I, I understand why you'd be going fast in a bike like this, so, yeah, just give me one second. I'll be right back with you. So let's go ahead and uh, just run his information. Like I said... You know, if it's no big deal, then I'll uh, I'll just let him go. You know, I'm not going to be a stickler today. It is Saturday. Valid, no wanted status. He has had two citations. I'm not going to worry about him. Everything's coming back good. So, valid. There's there's nothing wrong with this guy. So, all right, sir. Yeah, I'm going to just let you go on a warning. Go on. You're all good to go, bud. Just uh, slow it down next time. Yeah, I mean, it, it. I can understand having a bike. You know, it, it's got to be pretty difficult. So, let's... Oh, there we go. That's not good. Well, now we have the double radar. No big deal. I'll have to remember to turn that off. Um, yeah. I'll have to turn turn it off before I pull somebody over. But, um, dispatch... Oop, oop, oop. Everyone's stopping. That's because my lights are on. Uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and show us uh, code 4 on that traffic stop, and we will be 10-8 returning to patrol. I'm going to flip around right here, and we will see what happens next. And right there, we have a cavalcade, 233, going 76 miles per hour. It's going to be this cavalcade right here in front of us. And I forgot to do it again. Let's go ahead and cancel the radar. I'm probably going to have like three of them things stuck in there. All right, let's go ahead and initiate a traffic stop before we get too far. Yep, I tried canceling the traffic stop so that I could uh, disable the radar. I got to remember to do that. Maybe there's a setting that I can do to, uh, to change that it pauses it. I think that's a bug. And maybe I'll uh, try to even reinstall the old one, but dispatch, show us on a 1011. We are going to be Interstate 1 in Vinewood Hills, northbound lanes. Plate for the vehicle we are stopping is 63 David John William 233. Six, three, Alonzo David John William Marani, 233. Zero no 1099. All righty. No citations. Wow. Of possible All right, dispatch. You can probably tell from my voice that, uh, yeah, we're in a pursuit. 1080. 
Northbound US Route 13. Vehicle's going pretty slow at this time. You can roll me two additional units. That would be excellent. And there we go. They're coming right at us. Head on. Because that's what you do. Oh my gosh. Stay right there, dude. Stay right there. We can get this guy. We can get him right here. Get Nope, not gonna happen, because you moved, and now you're blocking me. Get out of the way. Jesus. Now, just keep running into the wall. That's smart. All right, dispatch, I am trying to catch back up, but I had an idiot officer block me in. Come on, I am not leaving this pursuit. We need to catch up, dispatch. Get out of the way. Ooh, I should turn on my sirens. Trying to catch back up to that pursuit. Still northbound, U.S. Route 13. Get out of the way, man. Here we go. Now we are caught back up. Excellent. We are headed north. I don't know why I'm saying east. Northbound, U.S. Route 13. Coming up to the first Sandy Shores exit. He's got his blinker on. Don't know why. Maybe he's just trying to be a good law-abiding citizen. Speeds are approximately 75 miles per hour. Still northbound, U.S. Route 13. Doesn't seem to be stopping at all. There we go. He's running into the wall. He's going to drive off. Yep, that's ELS for you. It is, it is, it works sometimes. Do not hit my car. Do not hit my car. All right, dispatch. He's going to be headed southbound in northbound lanes. We are not going to be following suit. What you doing, dude? What you doing? Still southbound in northbound lanes. I do not know what he is doing. Come on, cross back one. Oh, he did cross. He did cross. I was waiting for him to do that. All right, dispatch. He is back in southbound lanes, headed southbound on US Route 13. Why is he doing that? I'm not even... There we go. Maybe it's because of the two key. Maybe that's what's making him do it. No, he is just... He is done. Oh, huge 1050 dispatch. Let's get him out. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right Stop, now. You are police. done. You don't know how to drive. Get down on the ground, Kill sir. Get down on the ground. You Keep do not up. know how to drive. Wonderful driver. Put your hands behind your back, sir. You are being placed under arrest for being in, uh, taking off on us, being in a pursuit. <sighs> All right. Sir, do you have anything on you that could poke us or hurt us in any way? shape or form before we put you into the back of our police vehicle. All right, use needles, some candy, a Bible, and a black bandana. Excellent. Let's go ahead and move our car. I do love this vehicle. I mean, this is just, it's a great looking car. I love CVPIs also. So, oop, that's the camera button. We want to search the vehicle, see if there's anything in it that we can add to his charges. All right, a can of soda. That's good. A baggie with a tooth. Ooh, a baggie with a tooth. A Vespucci beach towel. Door fell off. Not my problem. I'm going to blame it on the accident. And let's go ahead and write this guy up. First, I need to get his name. Sir, what's your name? All right. Alonzo Morani. So that is the registered owner, believe it or not. Wow, look at them secondaries. That is good. Just straight amber. That's beautiful. All right, Alonzo Morani, valid, no wanted status. He has never been arrested. He's been stopped once, which probably was us. 
Uh, and this is going to be for all traffic. Driving the wrong way, absolutely. Reckless driving, absolutely. Leaving the scene of an accident, absolutely. Evading arrest, absolutely. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's going to do it. All right, dispatch, can you go ahead and roll us a 1032 out to our location for Assistance Mr. Required for I think it was Maroney. We copy you. On standby. Roger. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Turn. There we go. We are golden. Dispatch, you can go ahead and show us. Uh, 10 8. We will be returning to patrol. We will see what happens next. Dispatch calling unit 1 Lincoln 18. We've got oh, a code geez. 99 in Grande Sonora Desert. All right, dispatch. I'm going to make my way over there. Don't know how fast I'm going to be able to get there. Let's go ahead and respond. 1097 code 3. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's like back in the Sandy Shores area. Coming in hot, coming in hot. All right, let's flip around. There we go. Everyone likes to be in your way. Turning out to be a beautiful day out here in Blaine County. We're gonna make our way over there as quickly as we can. Get out of the way, there we go. You wanna always try to clear people to the right hand. Right here, we're gonna try to squeeze in. There we go. I was able to get in there. You also don't want to just blow through intersections that are stop signs. You wanna, you wanna do a little bit of a, uh, you know, yell. All right, we're gonna be uh, rolling up on scene right now. Dispatching, go ahead and show us 1023 on scene. We're going to talk to the officer and see what's going on, see what the reason for the stop is today. Good day. Thanks for coming yet again. This owner of the vehicle has an outstanding warrant. They also have markers for violence against police. Someone needs to go in for the arrest. Why would I put my life on the line? You can go. I got your cover. I really need to open this door. Though. Yeah, it looks like he's taken off. You do not shoot at him. You get in your car. Come on, get in the car. Get in the car. Go, go, go. Dispatch, we are going to be in a 1080 headed westbound US Route 68. I'm going to need to turn on my sirens. I don't know why that officer just stopped. Hey, oh, okay, you got some tires on this guy. Dispatch, can you roll me an additional unit? There we go, he's coming in from the side, coming in hot. He is coming in hot. Stay right there. Just stay, stay. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right now, sir. Get down on the ground. Stop running. Don't even try. Go, go, go. Dispatch, we have one at gunpoint at this time. Sir, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You are being placed under arrest today for uh, having a warrant, is what the other officer is uh, saying. This is dispatch. We are code Do you have anything on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form before we put you into the back of our vehicle? Get in the car the and canceled. behave! That sucks. I canceled it, and now that he's in there, I can't really uh, try it again, so. But let's go ahead and get his car off to the side of the road. We will search it up real quick. All right, there we go. We'll search it. So yeah, the officer actually was able to get one of the tires, which is excellent. Wire cutters, a map of Blaine County, a revolver, and a GPS. Now, why would you have a map of Blaine County and a GPS? The world may never know. That is for sure. A shotgun and a flashlight. All righty. Dispatch, can you roll us a tow truck? 1051 out to our location. 
Also, can you run us a plate on this vehicle? It's going to be an Asa 67 Queen Sam Whiskey 381. Suspect's license plate. 67 Queen Sam William 381. No 1099. All right. Julia Ramirez. Uh, that is not our registered owner. Or that is the registered owner, but that's not who we have. Dennis Thelman. License is suspended. No wanted status. I don't know what's wrong with these officers. But supposedly he was wanted. Supposedly. Nonviolent crime. It's going to be uh, resisting arrest. And we're going to mark him for a warrant for arrest because that's what we were called out here for. That's what the officer told us. And, uh evading arrest reckless driving and that'll work probably possibly even a stolen vehicle charge coming at him Ooh, almost hit that pole what is this guy holding a sign up for what does that say get out I don't I can't even read it needs to get a better sharpie all right dispatch show us uh, in route back to the station we will be rolling out their code too with uh, one ten fifteen, we'll be heading to the Sandy Shore Station. Just to be clear, all right. So yeah, we'll take this one in. Uh, just like last episode, we uh, we took a guy in. You know, whenever I'm close, there's really uh, no reason not to. And it uh, and it gives you time to just look at the beautiful car that I'm driving. Yes, it is. It's just an excellent car. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and downgrade. And we're gonna get this spot right here, I believe. All right. And we'll go ahead and let another officer take him in this time. It's it's crazy how they just walk out of screen, you know, behind us. The jail's the other way, but what do you do? All right, All right dispatch, you can go ahead and show us uh, 10 7, 10 42. Guys, that's going to be the last call of the day. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of LSPDFR. I also hope you enjoyed this police vehicle, the CVPI. It is a beautiful, beautiful state trooper car. And, uh, yeah, as always, the link for this vehicle will be in my mods list. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next episode.